Hi friends, this is Sujil. In this video, we are going to see how we can create a first document using LaTeX. In my previous video, I have already explained how can we install LaTeX and its editor called TextTrio. The link of that video is given in description box. So now let us start with the today's session. So let's start our text studio. So it will appear like a window as shown in the screen. Now we need to create our first document. For that you can take the help of wizard. So once you click to this wizard there is an option called quick start click on that quick start so it will open an another window from here you can see there are different options so first one is document class here you can have different options like articles report letter book and beamer etc if anyone want to write an article they can take document class as article if they want to write a report they can choose it as report they anyone want to write letter they can take the letter format if anyone wants to go for a book they can have the book and the beamer is generally we used to create ppt's presentations so someone needs to create some presentations that you can go for Beamer presentation also. Now, here I am taking article as the my document class. There is font size you can choose according to your requirement. And here the paper size we choose it as uh, A4, A4 paper. And here you can have different options that if you want to create two sided document you can choose two sided document. If you want to choose one sided document you can choose one sided document one column you can choose one column two column you can choose two column so now I am using here a one sided document so click on one sided document and press ok now the text studio itself generate the necessary command which is used or which is required to start a document okay now let's save this document first so you can go save as you can write my first document meant using latex okay now you just save it so this is your first document that you have that you are going to create using that text so for a document you need a title so now let's see how can we add title to this document for that we need to write slash title okay and you can write title as my first document using latex and you need to make a title so you need to write an another command which is called slash make title you can you will get the options over here so now let's run this and see what you, we are going to get so I am clicking here okay so now you have created a document and the title of the document is my first document using latex so now let us see if we need to add some abstract then how can we go for an abstract so for that you need to write a comment to begin abstract that is begin begin abstract 
and you can choose that so it will automatically generate an another comment which is called end extract now you need to add the content of abstract whatever you want to write in place of abstract at the place where you can see the contents so i am just copy pasting the some content from here from this word file so i am copying and uh, i am pasting over pasting uh, over here control v and let's see how it is going to appear in your pdf document so now in this document you can see that one section which is called abstract has been created so next step in document that you should know how to add different sections so to add different section you can see or you can write that for new section slash section okay and you can write the section name introduction okay and let's see how will it appear it when running this document so i am running this document and you can see that here the introduction is appeared so now you need to add some content for here you need to add some content so i am copy pasting the content from here the same content from here under the section introduction so for i am copy pasting two times and if you want you can add the content accordingly whatever you want to write you can add it so by running this document you can see the content is going to appear like this now we need to also add some another section you can add like this slash again section and the suppose you want to add a section called methodology methodology so you can write that and you will have the option of also here you can right click and you will get option if some mistake or spelling mistake is there so once you run it let's see how we can see the document in pdf so now a new section is created like two which is methodology okay so and i am adding the content to that which is the same content i am copy pasting from the uh, introduction part you can add the content whatever you require to add or whatever according to your need uh, what you are going to write you can add it and press okay run button so it will appears like this now suppose someone have doubt that how can we add some sub section to this so let's see how for that you need to add a comment that sub section sub section and the we can say under the methodology first methodology first methodology and you can see like this from the pdf it will appears like this 2.1 the first methodology and the content you want to put you can put the content like this in this place you can add the content now let's see how it is going to appear over here. so in 2.1 section under this section you can see the content is appear like this and now you need to add one more subsection you can do one thing you can add the contents like this suppose i am just copying the whole section and putting over here and changing that instead of first methodology i am changing to the second methodology and you can also edit the contents suppose uh, i am editing here also uh, for your the sake of your understanding this one is i put two paragraph over the second methodology now let's see how it is going to appear under this you can see that first methodology then second methodology 
and the two paragraph that we have already inserted in the document is going to see here. Now, if you want an another subsection inside this section, you can do one thing, write slash sub sub section. This is the first part of second methodology ok you can use the uh, uh, first part of your second methodology and you can add the content to that ok now let's see how it will appear let's run it the document so it is appearing two under 2.2 it is appearing 2.2.1 that is first part of the methodology and now if you have an another subsection inside that you can add this is you can all I am copying this thing and pasting over here so I can write here like second part of second methodology and I am running it again you can see how it is going to appear now it is going to appear the second part of second methodology now someone may have doubt that how can we write or how can we include a next section called section 3 it is simple you can only need to write again the section again the section and you can write here next section of your document so next section see how it is going to appear so it is going to appear next section which is 3 which is 3 and you can also add some contents from this or any content whatever you like or wish to write you can add here now I am an again running this document you can see the content is going to appear below the next section and next is for a document we should know how we can add conclusion to any document conclusion to any document so that conclusion is adding conclusion is very simple as like we are adding section like section slash slash section you can add conclusion and you can put some content inside that uh, conclusion so and you run you can see like the section 4 is your conclusion generally in documents we don't prefer to add numbering for this conclusion so now let's see how can we remove this number 4 for this conclusion so you can do one thing you can just put a star over here star over here then you run it and we see how it is going to make changes in the document now this section number is disappeared so now the section number is disappeared over here so this is the document that we have created in this video you can see abstract is there and different sections now for a complete documentation use, using latex you need to know how can we import figures how can we import tables how can we import equations in latex so for that please stay connected with us if you find this video helpful please do like subscribe and share and also don't forget to press bell icon to get let latest update at the earliest thank you